Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Summer came in very quickly and a lot of changes have happened. The horses are still getting used to the heat which hit us pretty hard but we're all getting used to it. Anyways, there's a lot to be done this morning, so with that said, let's get right into the video. I just picked out these random clothes since they'll get dirty anyway. First thing in the morning, I eat breakfast outside. I live right next to a field of animals, so it's very relaxing. Once I'm finished with that, I feed my chickens and check on my garden. I live pretty far from the barn, so I like to make boba. I'm kind of obsessed with it, and it helps give me energy. Now that I'm at the barn, I have to turn the horses out to the pasture so I'm able to clean the stalls and restock their feed. It takes a while because I now have to take care of one of my mom's lesson horses, which is Prince, if you remember him. I just feel like he's been neglected and I don't like it, so he may be put up for sale to find a more loving home. As much as I love him, I don't think I could handle five horses. Once I'm finished cleaning the stalls, I usually have nothing much to do, but I've stocked up on so much of Jorvik Horse Feeds products. Phoenix, Amber, Violet, and Sandy are obsessed with them. It's amazing. It's gotten super messy with all the products, so I'm finally cleaning it all up. The tack room also got a bit messy, and I've misplaced a bunch of things, so I'm going to clean that up as well. After I finished with the cleaning, I went to get Amber from the pasture since I wanted to work on a few things with her. She and Violet have been fitting in really well here. Speaking of Violet, we've made so much progress. We've gotten much closer and same goes for her with the horses. They all adore her, especially Prince, which I sorta of got a picture of. I'm taking Amber to a cross country course at Valedale Lake. I saw on Instagram that someone had tried it out and said it was really fun, so I thought I'd give it a try. I've learned that Amber favors cross country much more than show jumping. This course was for anyone to use, but luckily there literally wasn't anyone there. It would help Amber focus. I just followed the course to challenge Amber a bit and it was actually really fun. There were also cameras posted around the course, so I was able to watch how we did after. So Amber was doing really good until we got to this bridge. I guess she saw a huge dip in the middle of it and jumped over it, which I was not ready for at all. But luckily, I didn't fall off. I hung on very tightly, so we're good. We finished after about an hour and a half. Both me and Amber were super tired and out of energy, but she looked like she had fun, which is good. We'll have to come here more often, and I totally recommend this place. Okay, so it's around noon, and I'm going to meet a friend, so I'm going to end it here. I hope everyone who watched enjoyed this video. 
If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below what other videos you'd like to see from me, and it would be amazing and super helpful if you subscribed. Thanks so much to those of you who have subscribed, and I hope everyone has a good day, afternoon, or night. Thanks for watching. Bye!